It's Eco Art Day. I invented it on November 24th. It's a great concept. Eco Art Day, November 24th. On that day, we display used toilets that we make into fine art. Seven million toilets every year end up in landfills all across America. And it's environmentally friendly to make used toilets into fine works of art. Oh, there's one. There's one. Where? Uh, over by the dumpster there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We just drive through back alleyways and uh, we, we look for unwanted used toilets that are sitting outside and then we grab them. And it's a lot of fun, really. It's, it's kind of like going out on an Easter egg hunt. The themes for our commodes are usually based on endangered species and outer and inner space environments. Nostic Uncle Orchard has a root beer farm He says that avocados grow plentiful on Mars And when the sun hits it just right Rewarded with barrels when I was only five I did rot my teeth out guess I was fed for life Odo would be really into this. I believe she had a happening once where they actually sat around and watched a pot of water boil and evaporate. Around here we watch wax. It's much more oh, dangerous. There's apostles on Mars who are counting all the stars and naming them for all the Some toilets we make into giant candles, some we make into flower pots and ashtrays, and some we paint fluorescent colors to represent toxic waste. My favorite inner space toilet was actually a replica of the submarine from the movie Fantastic Voyage. Our sub was destroyed by unappreciative vandals while it was on display. Get me out! Get me out! In the movie, the sub was destroyed by the human body's natural defenses. I help deliver the commodes on target, gorilla style. I also drive the getaway car. No sign of the fuzz. Honey, Michael? Uh, We're all gonna die! Die. Hurry it up, boys! The blue meanies are coming! Mission accomplished! Last time I heard